according to Yurko Yakovenko, a fighter in the Nachtigal Battalion of the 14th Regiment of Unmanned Aerial Vehicles of Ukraine, Ukrainian military forces are advancing deeper into Russia and expanding their presence. He shared the information with Espresso TV. Recently, a video went viral showing elderly women in the Kursk region speaking to the Ukrainian military in Ukrainian. The video was recorded by Yurko Yakovenko, a soldier of the Nachtigal Battalion participating in the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region. Yakovenko remarked, This operation was a surprise for everyone. The Ukrainian Armed Forces caught the Russians off guard. The Russian military leadership took some time to react, and now the Russian Armed Forces are trying to resist, or rather, put out fires. On our part, everything was carefully planned and organized, so it is paying off. Our army is advancing deeper into Russia and expanding its presence. In addition, there are a lot of captured Russian soldiers, emphasize the Ukrainian fighter. He notes that locals have reacted in different ways to the arrival of Ukrainian troops. The first civilians we encountered were the two elderly ladies who spoke Ukrainian to us. Otherwise, most people are staying in their homes and hiding. They are likely waiting for a new government or at least some form of governance as the Russians seem absolutely helpless without authorities guiding them. The fighter added, in the video, the Russian women displayed an unexpected warmth towards the Ukrainian troops and even began conversing in Ukrainian. Do you speak Ukrainian? One of the soldiers inquired, taken aback. Yes, I'm not Ukrainian, but I do speak Ukrainian. One of the women responded. Their exchange ended on a cheerful note with one of the soldiers saying, so, glory to Ukraine. Yes, glory. One of the elderly women agreed before they parted ways. Yurko Yakovenko emphasized that Ukraine's successes and advances in the Kursk region are primarily due to the efforts of the assault units, although he serves in a support unit. Another group of Russian servicemen have been taken hostage in Russia's Kursk region after the Ukrainian army surprise incursion in the area this week. The images were distributed on Telegram channels. Left without any support in their military position, the soldiers decided to surrender to Ukrainian soldiers. This is not the first group to surrender to the Ukrainian army. As many as 300 Russian soldiers were taken hostage in the first two days in incursion, according to media reports. On August 7, Ukrainian defense forces captured over 40 soldiers of the Russian armed forces in Kursk. The day before, Ukrainian troops captured 35 Russian soldiers on the border of Kursk region. Ukraine launched a surprise ground assault into Russia's soil with troops and armored vehicles on Tuesday. Russia said that up to 1,000 Ukrainian troops took part in the cross-border attack. Ukrainian troops have reportedly advanced 25 kilometers into Russian territory.